Greetings guys and gals, this is Jabbar bringing you the best in esports today. We have StarCraft Brood War, the Shinhan Winners League. This is going to be SK Telecom T1 versus Samsung Khan Set 4, I believe. And no, this is going to be Set 3, actually. And Samsung Khan is up 2 to 0 on SKT1. Reality, somehow, some way, the not over 50% new Terran is just tearing through the SK team beating both best and some other SK dude but now he's gonna be facing fantasy 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 the OSL champion I don't know how this is gonna go but fantasy very very good he's gonna be spawning at the nine o'clock position as the white Terran and at the 230 position on fortress we have the green Terran who's been killing the SK team reality and I know you guys know that I don't really like TVT but you know what a lot of you guys do watch. Uh, a lot of you guys do like watching TVT, and so I'm just gonna do it anyways. And I'm gonna be enthusiastic about it, and I'm gonna like it because you guys like it as well. Supply Depot going down for both players. Super, super standard. No proxy racks yet. Although they still could do so. Um, usually you don't go for a proxy racks after your Supply Depot. Just really not the way to go. So we are probably going to see a little bit more of a standard game here from both players and. This is just really exciting that one of the newcomers is actually doing fairly well because a lot of the new guys are going over to SC2 and trying to qualify for the GSL code A and stuff like that. But it's really, really cool that you know some of the new guys that are going to Brood War are having a little bit of success. So this is very, very interesting refinery going down for both players. So we're going to see, obviously, the more mechish type build. Although lately, a few players have been going for more marine heavy type builds, which is interesting as well. Um, especially in uh, TVP, the medic marine with a few tank push has been getting more and more common and it's been doing fairly well versus Protoss, just as the Zealot Legs with a plus one um, attack in PVZ is doing fairly well. Also, we have full saturation on that gas from Reality, and I'm assuming Fantasy is going to do the same thing. Apparently something is very, very funny as the commentators are just kind of laughing it off in the background. But this is a very serious game for SKT1. Um, they are, I believe, still at the head of the uh, rankings um, for this week or this season or however the heck they do it. Um, at KT Rolster is also doing very very well opposed to how they were doing in the Pro League because Flash couldn't reverse all kill everyone but SKT1 needs to stay on top and needs to definitely win this matchup and they're gonna need Fantasy to pull out a win here because if Reality beats Fantasy the only person left that they're probably gonna put up is Bisu and although Bisu is playing very very well I don't necessarily know if he's the person that can really uh, reverse all kill a team but although he has had like three or four all kills so far in the winners league so I guess it just really is kind of a toss up it's just Bisu seems to always kind of slip up and play a little bit when it really comes down to it, uh, having a little bit of difficulty in the individual leagues but we s do see a factory going down for reality as well as ooh and picks off the SCV uh, does not see the starport very very important so it looks like fantasy is gonna go for starport play meanwhile we have an expansion going out for reality so there's the deviation of play we have four marines out for uh, fantasy and it looks like he might be pushing out we do see the flush vulture out for reality I'm assuming that there's gonna be a vulture very very soon from no it doesn't look like he looks like he's gonna go straight for machine shop and so that vulture already get one already getting one SCV kill and this is going to be very, very interesting because we are going to see that early starport from Fantasy. And meanwhile, we see the command center. So a little bit more of economic build uh, versus the early pressure build. We do see one vulture up, but not the second one. And so we're going to have to see if each one of these players can do the micro that is necessary to kind of get out of this. Losing one marine and the vulture. Uh-oh, Fantasy. Watch out because those vultures are going to be able to out-macro the marines. The marines all die along with the vulture. There's still three vultures for reality. He might try to put some early pressure on him. That looks like what he's doing. He's moving out towards Fantasy's base and he's probably going to be a... Well, I don't know if that's a complete block off. If that's a complete wall off, then uh, Fantasy has done his duty. Done a very, very nice job and those vultures will not be able to come in and harass at all just kind of poke and prod and it looks like that is a, a full wall off the tank comes out is gonna deter these vultures so fantasy not in uh, trouble at the very least we do see armory 
as well as an academy, I believe, going down for reality. Meanwhile, Cloak is being researched by Fantasy, and so Fantasy is going to go for this Cloak play, but I think that uh, by the time Cloak is researched, he's going to have one scan if he gets a comp set right away after that academy. So he should be okay. Reality should be okay. Cloak is still being researched, um, and that Wraith still building. But this is going to be very, very close, depending on when he gets his uh, commsat station. It's going to really dictate whether this cloaked wraith is going to pay for itself or not. Um, because we do not see an engineering bay. He's not going to be able to put up missile turrets just yet. We do see Goliath coming out, so maybe an inclination that some type of uh, starport build was going on, machine shop spinning as well, but really nothing to kind of scout for this cloak. We do see the two Goliaths following that Wraith, um, probably going to be researching charm boosters, and there's the comm set going down. Cloak is researched, so he might be able to get some SUVs kills, probably just going to use that Wraith for a scout though and switch up his tech a little bit as he does see Goliaths are on their way out, building another race, so actually getting two race and I think that's probably going to be all that there is unless he's going to go really really in for this uh, Wraith build and some of the Terran players have gone Wraith uh, especially versus battle cruisers. Um, it's just really really you have to have the, the best micro uh, ever pretty much those mines are going to delay that expansion for just a little bit unless he uses a comm set on that um, really in Starcraft Brood where you don't have to debate between using Comsat or getting mules. Oh man! Here comes the Goliath! Oh my gosh, the race going down. That is absolutely terrible for Fantasy. Fantasy, what are you doing? What is going on here? Three siege tanks at the front with a Marine and needs to be careful not to lose. Oh Jesus. Losing the Marine very, very unnecessarily. Um, using it for spawning, but definitely think he could have salvaged that. Maybe not just moved it right through there and uh, backed it up a little bit. Possibly could have, I'm not entirely sure, but it looked like it was just kind of a needlessly wasted marine, although marines are only 50 minerals, so not really too much of a big deal. Barracks going out to scout for both players, um, and that expansion should be up momentarily. Refinery going down at the natural, so you can immediately begin to mine gas there. Marine going down for reality. Uh, he does have a bigger force-ish, but he has all Goliaths in one siege tank. He does have siege tech, which is going to be important. And he's going to get a free shot off on that siege tank. Oh my gosh, the one of the siege tank gets picked off. Reality playing like an absolute champ here. And Fantasy in a little bit of trouble. Reality looking super, super composed. Um, and he's just playing on top of his game, using that siege mode, using the spotting just so, so well. His uh, expansion was up first being on the ball, being ready for that Wraith play, and it looks like he might go for Wraith play of his own or possibly s some dropships, which I'm assuming, you know, it's kind of late to go for Wraith at this point in the game. He's probably just going to use that com uh, control tower for drops. And Fantasy, man, Fantasy knows that he's kind of behind, and so he's going to have to build another command center and kind of try to get ahead and just expand and hope that he can hold off reality's attack here. Comp site going down and it's going to be very very close but I believe that that siege tank is going to go down. Not going to be able to uh, get out in time so kind of an even swap there in terms of siege tanks but fantasy kind of on his toes. Reality is getting closer and closer to containing him. We do see the machine shop spinning probably for charm boosters. Uh, is what I'm guessing, which is going to be very, very effective versus those dropships, versus any type of Wraith play that Fantasy wants to put on because he does have the cloak upgrade, so he can put out some more Wraith. It does look like he did uh, produce another Wraith. So far, Comsat going down to s exactly spot what kind of army composition that Reality has. The dropship is out for Reality, so he could just kind of elevator his forces. I guess it wouldn't be elevator, but transfer his forces into uh, reality, into Fantasy's base, rather, in the back here. It looks like that's exactly what he's going to do. Just kind of drop his forces in there. Fantasy seizing up at the front. Does not know that this is going on. This could possibly be really, really bad for him. It looks like they're focusing on the control tower. Fantasy's like, oh, crap, what's going on? There is a uh, Wraith out that is cloaked. He needs to put a comm set. Needs not to lose that drop set. Comm set going down. Is the Wraith going to be able to pick out the drop ship? No, the Wraith's not able to pick out the drop ship. Here comes more Fantasy's forces, but the Goliaths are in there, and so are the siege tanks. Sorry for, th sorry for that uh, YouTube thing. 
but as I always say, it's very, very easy to screen cap off the Novake account, and so that's what I do. Instead of downloading the VODs, it just makes it so much easier for me, especially since I try to do one VOD a day, but the engagement is happening here, spawning with the SEVs, doing a very nice job, and I think that this attack is going to get cleaned up. Fantasy still in a little bit of trouble though, and wow, actually no, it, it looks like those forces are still going to be able to be down there, even though there was more siege tanks. Siege tanks at the top also, SCVs being pulled off the line to attack and uh, to reinforce, to do some damage. Unseized siege tanks coming in for Fantasy is able to clean that up, but all that mining time lost, all those SCVs killed, and man, oh man, Fantasy on his toes, the OSL champion being almost bested. Uh, no pun intended by b best from SKT, but almost bested by this new, this newbie reality. This is almost like Bisu versus Taza, which I actually say frequently just for fun sometimes. Uh, but he does have that command center at the top left, which has been scouted though by um, these SCV of reality. So, S uh, so reality definitely knows that that base is there. Meanwhile, reality looks like he's going for the one o'clock expansion. Very, very surprising there, and might even be going for the bottom left expansion as well. Looks like he's building a uh, command center there. And oh, just an engineering bay. I thought that was a command center. Looked like one, but it's not. It's just an engineering bay. And is that his first engineering bay? It might actually be his first engineering bay, which is very, very interesting. Uh, that he would get such a late bay, especially with those, um, especially with those race out. But that was his plan of action, and it's working so far. Another engineering bay. Um, oh no, that was the same engineering bay. Sorry about that. But it looks like just comsets going everywhere uh, on the map, just to look for expansions, seeing exactly where the players are. You can see that there's the uh, comset going that went off at the top right, the bottom right, and some of the inside bases as well two drop ships for fantasy he needs to kind of put some pressure back on reality because reality is just so far just containing him just able to keep him pretty much in his base he has expanded to that top left but really not done anything super super effective three drop ships coming in here towards the top left base here comes the drop ships of fantasy is he going to be able to get there in time looks like he's going to drop all over reality's units reality sieging up some of his units and not sieging one of the tanks um, and i think fantasy's going to be able to clean this up fairly easily looks like all those drop ships didn't have uh, units in them or something they weren't entirely filled or that drop just absolutely killed reality's units instantly but reality coming out way far behind in that engagement unfortunately and uh he's not in a bad point just losing that units brought fantasy a little bit farther uh back he's doing the smart thing by building missile charts at pretty much all the bases so he's gonna know when fantasy expands very very smart and they're at even bases, although I'm sh I think that uh, Reality probably has a little bit higher income just because he had that base first, and also he has more saturation probably with his uh, with his SUV since he hasn't really lost any. But it looks like four dropships coming in for Reality, um, just kind of in the middle of the map right now, but really could strike at anywhere. And what this is cr making Fantasy do is it's kind of making him spread out his units. He doesn't really know where Fantasy is going to, or where Reality is going to attack. And that's super, super important. He, he it looks like he's taking the forces from the northern base to the south. Comset going off on the top left base, and Fantasy is going to have to come back here because he knows that Comset means that he, uh, Reality is incoming. Reality smartly stopping his dropships and not really going. Here comes the engineering bay going to spot those dropships at that position. It looks like we have some sieging on that control tower along with that comsat doing a lot of damage, attacking at multiple fronts, just doing an amazing job. Here comes reality's forces, sieging up his siege tanks, and oh my gosh, I think that he's going to take out Fantasy's force, but no, Fantasy bringing more dropships in with units not entirely filled. It looks like only one or two of those dropships were filled, but it's going to be able to take out reality's units regardless. Able to take out the control tower though is reality, and here comes Fantasy with four siege tanks versus those two, instantly going to kill one, and the other one is absolutely screwed. The Goliaths are like, let's get the frick out of here, man, because this is not where you want to be. This is the danger zone. This is the kill zone. And we want to go have some uh, coffee or something. I have no idea why I said that. But, 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 this game is pretty much back and forth. Fantasy has kind of fought his way back. Might be slightly behind still, but doing a very, very nice job of defending. It looks like he's thinking of expanding possibly to that bottom left. Um corner there or one of the inside bases but doing a very very nice job of expanding and keeping up his defense just keeping his dropships moving keeping all of his units 
uh, where they need to be pretty much just being on the ball and intercepting all of Reality's attacks. So doing a very, very nice job there. It looks like he's dropping in. Might try to get some of these units here. Uh, not really going to get anything but the missile turrets, unfortunately. Rally just barely getting away. Uh, and it looks like he's coming down from the north. Might try to put on a frontal attack on top of Fantasy's units. But uh, looks like he might be actually just putting him into the dropships and making it more and more of a mobile force. Fantasy bringing more dropships in here. Um, don't know how many units they actually have in them. Probably going to try to get those siege tanks in those dropships and just kind of moving across trying to retake uh, some of the lead and siege on this base pretty much and try to take this base out meanwhile reality is going for fantasy's top left base dropping in with a bunch of units I don't think fantasy can reinforce he's gonna have to pull back from his attack on reality's base if he's gonna want to defend this um, and reality meanwhile pulling off probes to try to or not probes, SCVs to try to do some splash damage. Oh, and doing a ton of splash damage, actually. Very, very effective there. Able to almost take out these tanks with one siege tank and um, some SCVs doing a very, very nice job. Here comes some FPS issue lag. Oh, my gosh. Uh, but Fantasy's dropship's coming in, and he's going to be able to take out the Goliaths. The Goliaths are just not, not, not nearly as good as siege tanks, um, especially with their SCVs. I mean, the Goliaths can try to get in there, but really just had no chance. And uh, it looks like that base might have been taken out at the top left for Fantasy. Um, I know that Reality is up to four bases now, going for his fifth. But, uh, well, actually, he might not have that top right base. So he might still be at three bases going for his fourth. It's kind of hard to tell on the green terrain whether he has a top right base or not. It looks like he doesn't. And uh, Fantasy was able to maintain his command center. He doesn't really have the best saturation at that top left base, though. And just really this battle, this whole game is on a knife's edge. Very, very close. And one engagement can really turn the tide for one player or the other. It's just pretty much all positioning in TVT. And uh, whoever can get off the first shot of volley is really, really important um, to kill those units before they get the chance to attack you. And the dropships, just the mobility factor is just so, so huge. Looks like Fantasy is going to come in here for an attack, dropping all over the missile turrets, all over the CC tanks. His CC tanks are sieging up, and bam, bam, instantly taking out the CC tanks of Reality. Reality is in a little bit of trouble at this top base, but he's going to make a drop of his own on Fantasy's CC tanks, and he's going to be able to counter that and take it out, probably. Reinforcing with more CC tanks, and Goliath doing a very, very nice job, and this battle is just so back and forth and fantasy looks like he doesn't have any more forces to reinforce there trying to expand to the bottom left base but it looks like that command center might get taken out by those missile turrets and that's what i was saying earlier so so smart to put those missile turrets at that extra base this game is so intense so amazing so back and forth and i really can see why people like tvt here comes another engagement both players just dropping right all over each other looks like reality might come out ahead but those cc things at the bottom are just doing so much damage but no reality does come out ahead and he's going to be able to get back in those dropships and uh, put some more pressure on that top left base. This top left base looks like there's no tomorrow. Here comes Fantasy's dropships, man. This battle is just so intense. It looks like uh, two of those dropships actually didn't have forces in them and Fantasy is in a lot of trouble. Fantasy is in a ton of trouble. Needs to get away from those CHT things. They are got the, like, it looks like they don't have uh, range over each other and that's really odd because it looks like they should um, a lot of times you see siege tanks and they're able to hit things that are like super far away somehow but uh, that's also help with commsets commset going down for reality boom able to take down two of those siege tanks man fantasy having to pull off SCVs off the line to try to help in um kind of defend his base man but uh, it looks like this attack is going to get cleaned up but man, oh man, the top base is done. He's going to be pretty much at no mining bases. I mean, the natural looks like it's going to be mined out fairly soon. Wasn't able to expand to the bottom left until just recently able to take down those uh, missile turrets. It looks like he did land his command center because there is that white, white blob down there. But reality dropping in the main and fantasy GGs just attacking from everywhere. Superior macro. And uh, really just getting that expansion up sooner really, really helped him out. So this was a very exciting TVT, and it might even have changed my opinion on Terran versus Terran. Although, you know, Light versus Flash, man, I that made me hate TVT more than anything. But that's going to be it. We might see an all-kill from the new player reality. We're going to have to see in the next set. Lates.